Hi, I'm Massimo. Today we will look at the new Galileo 219HF. It replaces the previous model 215HF. The new model has redesigned electronics, improving and simplifying the functionality. Now with IP23 protection, it can also be used on construction sites. The restyling of Galileo has included the installation of a sturdy handle, a shoulder strap for transport, and two 50mm quick connectors for welding accessories. Galileo TIG 219HF is a full cycle machine. It offers settings for perfect TIG welding even in a portable machine. Functions can now be activated via the quick button located in the centre of the front panel. With this new welding inverter, it is now possible to TIG weld in pulse mode to improve welding, reduce heating and improve aesthetics. Galileo TIG 219HF can be used in MMA mode with the possibility of welding with rutile, basic or stainless steel electrodes up to 4mm in diameter with adjustment of both arc force and hot start modes. The new Galileo TIG HF equipment includes a fabric bag with shoulder strap, also useful for other purposes, a helmet strap and several big pockets, one with a zip. The bag is secured with a snap buckle. In addition, it has two elastic electrode holders. The supplied TIG torch is an air-cooled 4-meter TIG 26, while the ground cable is 3 meters with a section of 25 mm squared in neoprene. A kit for quick connection of the cylinder is also included, and a pair of full-grain leather gloves. But now let's go to see the machine in welding mode together with our welding specialist Johnny. For TIG HF welding we connect the gas tube from the back of the machine to the argon gas cylinder, the TIG torch to the negative pole, then also connect the gas tube and the torch trigger connector. Finally connect the ground cable to the positive pole. Let's see four different applications of the Galileo 219HF in welding. The welding machine in TIG mode allows the choice between TIG with lift or HF ignition. The parameters that can be set are pre-gas, initial current, slope up, welding current, base current, slope down, final current, crater filler and post-gas. In pulse TIG it is also possible to set the frequency and the percentage time of maximum current. For all the details on the welding parameters that we will use in the next examples, please refer to the descriptions of the YouTube video. Let's start with a test on a T-joint on stainless steel. Thickness of 1.2mm in TIG HF, 4 stroke, no pulse. Let's now move on to the flat welding on the same material in TIG HF pulsed mode. The third test consists of welding with filler material on 10mm stainless steel in TIG HF mode, not pulsed. Finally, we end with a spot welding test on stainless steel, thickness of 1.2mm in TIG HF mode, two-stroke pulsed. 